Today, we're gonna be making keto pizza chaffles, and we're gonna show you two different ways that you can make them. So if you are new here and you like low carb or keto recipes and you have not yet subscribed, please make sure that you do hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell so that you can be updated every time we drop a video. So we're gonna start off with one large egg and then we have half a cup of mozzarella cheese. You'll actually need a little extra. One tablespoon of grated Parmesan cheese, one teaspoon of oregano, one tablespoon of pizza sauce, and you'll need a couple pepperonis. Um, and I just cut them into fours. And however many that you need to cover your chaffle. So, Let's go ahead and start with cracking one large egg into our bowl. And then give your egg a good mix. You have two choices. You can add all your ingredients and then mix it. I prefer to mix the egg first and then add in my ingredients, but it's totally up to you how you do it. We're gonna need some extra mozzarella. I have extra mozzarella in here for the topping, um, but for the mix, uh, you're only going to need half a cup of mozzarella cheese, so let me just put half a cup here in my measuring spoon, in my measuring cup, and then the rest you're going to use for your topping. Alright, and then we're going to add in half a cup of our mozzarella cheese. Alright, and then go ahead and grab your one tablespoon of grated Parmesan cheese. That's just going to help with flavor. and then one teaspoon of oregano. You can do anything you want here. You don't have to use oregano. You can use Italian seasoning. You can use basil. I'm just choosing to use oregano this time. So it's whatever you wanna do. All right, and then that is pretty much it guys for the crust. So go ahead and mix it all up. All right, and I'm just gonna use one fourth of a cup to measure this mix out and we're basically just gonna pour in half of our mixture into our griddle and then just spread it around and like I said you don't have to have the griddle if you have the waffle iron I have done it with that before also when I before I got this one and then just kind of press down on it and we're gonna let that cook for about four minutes or until the steam stops coming out or the light turns off which is about four minutes okay it's been about four minutes so let's take this out of the griddle and you want to make sure that you flip it on the other side because as you can see, the bottom side is cooked a little bit more. So now we're gonna top our pizza chaffle and what we're gonna do is put it back into the griddle and let it cook. And, and you'll see why I say flip it in just a second. All right, so we have our pizza sauce here and we're gonna use about mm, half a tablespoon to a tablespoon of a sauce for the chaffle, depending on how much you like. Okay, then add your pizza sauce to your chaffle, and I'm only going to use about half a tablespoon. Okay, and now we're going to get um, some of our remaining mozzarella cheese, and we are going to add that to our pizza sauce. And you can use any kind of toppings you want, you guys. But today I'm making just a regular pepperoni pizza because that's what I have. I went ahead and cut these round pepperonis into fours. Let me show you the ones that I normally get. Um, I just get a package of them, but they're a little too big for the truffle. So what I do is I just cut each one into fours. And I cut about eight of them up for two truffles but it was a lot you probably only need four or five for both of your truffles maybe and then i just cut it into fours like that all right so 
Let's get our pepperoni and add it to our pizza. We're going to put it on top of the cheese. And now you're going to see now the reason why I told you to flip the truffle around. I actually got this idea from the Keto Dad, which I don't know if you um, watch him, but I watch him all the time uh, on Facebook. So I'll go ahead and link his Facebook page down below. Um, and he also does really simple recipes, so I would recommend you to watch him as well. Um, and this idea actually came from him. He is the one that I saw that actually puts the pizza back into the griddle. Okay, so we're going to take our pizza and then just place it back into the griddle. And remember, this is the side that was on the top, the side that cooked a little bit less. So now you give it a chance to cook a little bit more and your cheese melts at the same time. So for this, you don't have to let it cook very long, maybe about a minute or two, or just until your cheese melts, okay? It's up to you. The longer you let it sit in there, the more crispy it's going to get. So there really is no right or wrong way. Okay, and it's been uh, just a couple minutes here, and looks like the cheese is melted pretty good. As you can see, some of the pepperoni got stuck, but that happens sometimes. But take a look at this chaffle. And see how nice the cheese is melted on there. Doesn't that look good? A nice cheesy pizza. Now, of course, it's not going to be super crispy in here. But it is tasty. It is good. It is easy. It's minimal cleanup. So what is there not to like about it? So there you have it, guys. A pizza chaffle cooked in the mini dash griddle. All right, so let's go ahead and now scoop the rest of our mixture into the griddle and we're gonna show you how to make your chaffle another way that would get it just a little bit more crispy if that's what you're looking for. All right, and same thing as before, just go ahead and spread that out. And we're, we're going to do everything the same. We're going to cook the crust in here for about four minutes or until it stops steaming or the light turns off. And the only difference is, is this time we are not going to put it back into the griddle. Okay, so it should be about done. So let's take it out of the griddle and uh, you can take it out as it is or you can flip it over like I just did. Uh, because the when you have the griddle, the bottom does tend to cook it a little bit better than the top. Um, but, so I like to flip mine a little bit so it can cook a little bit on the other side. And then when that is done, then we will go ahead and take it out. Okay, and it is about done. Alright, and let's just take it out. It should be done. Uh, like I said, it's totally up to you how long you want to leave it in there. The longer you leave it in, obviously the more crispy it's going to be. But um, I am going to go ahead and take it out now. So then we're going to do the same thing. We are going to top our pizza. We're going to add the pizza sauce first. And then something I normally do that I totally forgot to do on the last one was even though I add oregano in the mix, I also like to add a little bit to the pizza sauce. I do this also with basil, but uh, this time I'm just using the oregano. So it gives a little bit more flavor, but it's totally optional. Okay, so um, just like before, we're gonna add our cheese. However little or however much cheese you want. And we'll top that off with some more pepperoni. And we are going to, this time, instead of putting it into the griddle, we are going to cook this in the air fryer. Okay, now we're going to take our truffle that we have topped and we're going to throw it in the air fryer. I'm going to put mine in for about a minute or two, but it's up to you. It's also up to your air fryer how well it heats up. So for me, 360, all I have to do is cook it for about a minute or two. So let's take it out. All 
All right, and there you go, guys. Chuffles, two different ways that you can make them. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, and I will see you on the next video.